In the last video, we constructed a three input K map from a uh, sum of products, so in min-term notation. So this time, let's do an example of making um, a three input K map, but this time, suppose our function is given in max term notation. So there's this kind of capital pi that means multiply all these max terms. And if it's the list, say zero, three, four, six, for example. Okay, so um, these locations are going to basically tell you instead of where the ones are, where f is equal to one, these locations tell you where f is equal to zero. Um, so let me just refresh your memory. If we are constructing a three input K map, I put A on the left side of the line and B and C up above. So our possible inputs for A can be either zero or one. B, C can be either zero, 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 one, 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 or one, zero and I count in gray codes, so there's only one bit change between each number. And now, um, if this is min term zero, min term one, min term two, min term three, notice the skipping because of the gray code, then this is min term four, min term five, min term six, min term seven. So we have here a list of max terms. So this is going to be where f is equal to zero. So instead of filling in the table with ones, we're gonna use these locations to put in the zeros. So we know we're going to have a zero here, we're gonna have a zero at three, we're gonna have a zero at four, and we're gonna have a zero at six. So that means the other locations are where the ones are. So those are our ones. Um, we can do groups of two. We have um, a group of, we've got another one right here. We've got a group of one here. And then we have this one here. We can group this with this one. And we always wanna do that. Even though this one is already in the blue group, we wanna go ahead and group this one with another one because the grouping is what's gonna give us the simplification. However, we have this one up here. There's nothing adjacent to it, and even if we tried to do a wraparound grouping, there's nothing next to it here. So this is just a singleton. So it's kind of off a no man's land that doesn't have any pairing with it. So that means this isn't gonna give us much of a simplification. So if this corresponds to a product term with all three literals, none of those is going, are going to be reduced out of our, um, our sum. But that's okay. Let's go through and write out what our product terms would be. So for the blue group, what's true for these ones in our blue group? Well, we have A can be either zero or one and we'll have a one in the blue group. So we have A is either, we have B is zero, and we have C must be one. So if A can be either, that means um, we can reduce it out of our function, but we just need B to be zero and we need C to be one. So B not C is the literal representation of that case. So next, this green grouping here, the green group, um, what's true for these ones? Well, we have A is equal to one because that's this row here, and we have B can be either zero or one, and we'll have a one in the green group, so this is either, and we have C has to be one. So this literal representation is A and C. We don't need the B in there because it can be either zero or one, so we can reduce it out um, as like it doesn't matter. And then for orange, we don't actually have an orange grouping here because this is just a single one. So what gives us this one? That's the case when A is zero and B is one and C is zero. So this is A equals zero, B equals one, C equals zero. We have no kind of either cases. So this literal product term is going to be A naught, B, ended with C naught. So wherever you see an equals zero, that term gets complemented in your um, product term. So then we just take all of these and we or them together. So our reduced function f is going to be b not c or a c or a not b c not. And this is the fully reduced form for f. We did um, we used a Carnot map to do our reduction instead of Boolean algebra, um, and this is from the 
um, max term representation. So let me know if you have questions about that and also how to handle any single um, ones that don't have um, a group with another one. Okay, thanks.